team but owners in the country. Jerry Jones tried. That's a big difference. Jerry Jones doesn't care about the money. Jerry Jones will bring in badass coaches. Jerry Jones brought Bill Parcells. You motherfuckers did not deserve Bill Parcells. They were pieces of shit. And then he got Bill Parcells because he wants to win. What did we get? We got Bill O'Brien. Are you fucking kidding me? With an extension. Come on. And, and one thing I will say is that <clears throat> Jerry What's Jones, up, everybody, has... to the Three Way Podcast Show? I'm Jerks. Man, hold up. Up. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let, I gotta stop that for it. Goes on and on and on and on and on. But joining me today <laughs> is Public Enemy Five Nine, aka awesome. Bane, aka uh, Darth Los, aka uh, I'm switching to the other bandwagon. Let's go, TV Twelve. Uh, also joining me today is jp aka linkster 101 and of course man, amanda myth the legend jd aka jd mckinney that'd be me <clears throat> all right i'm i'm man my throat has been going and going but let's Ooh, keep going right? let's, let's go start there. with gaming <laughs> Game over. i mean you had the mask <laughs> you didn't have to do that <laughs> <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen we're gonna start with gaming here um so it's halfway through the year and gaming list for the 2020 uh games are going to release has been updated and, and we want to we, we kind of want to go run down for see what's uh, what's going to happen really quick here uh so games coming out for the rest of the year what are you guys excited for well i mean let's 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 just start from the get-go ghost of hiroshima comes out july 17. really pumped up for that oh, um we've already seen gameplay um uh, I, I i i really think this could be one of those uh, uh candidates for game of the year for sure for sure mm -hmm. um uh, also we also have uh cyberpunk coming out as well mm -hmm. uh but there's a lot of like little small games coming out here and there uh, that were interesting uh but as far as for me those because i'm like the type of person that i don't buy too much games i usually just get things that i'm excited for that's the ones that i know right. um let's not forget about the second part of the dlc for pokemon sword and shield nobody cares. the frozen tundra nobody, nobody cares. coming out later oh, this fall it's legend gonna be litty Legend of Zelda, rumored to come out December. Oh yeah, Ooh, they, I, they haven't I given it. a confirmation on that, but yeah, Legend of Breath of the Wild two is supposed to be coming out sometime I, this year. I mean, it would be smart to have we, we with have the we new heard systems, anything from Nintendo like, regarding any new games coming no, out? No, no, right? Because the newest thing we know is uh, the new um, uh, Paper Mario game coming oh, out yeah. also later in July, and but they have not any first party games after that. They've been mum, so I. Expect maybe an announcement on the rest of the year maybe later this month mm -hmm. maybe not because nintendo's be been very unorthodox on mm -hmm. on uh, announcing their games so they might do what they did with paper mario and wait two months before the game releases uh to oh, to yeah. announce it so i, I don't know it, we don't know jd correct sorry i kind of froze up there for a minute um yeah i mean i'm looking forward to september october november because it looks like that's when the big ones. I mean, you got Marvel Avengers coming out in September. That's right, Marvel Ooh, Avengers. Um, yeah, September. Mm -hmm. You know, and then and then October. October, you, you got, got Star Tony Wars Quadrant. One and two. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you got Star Wars Squadrons coming out in October. Um, oh, oh, you know, man, new Lego that, Star Wars yeah. and Skywalker Saga. I mean, uh, there's there's a couple. I mean, you still have yeah. the Apex Legends DLC thing coming out. Yeah, um, you have the. Assassin's Creed Valhalla that could be coming out this year or the beginning. You know, I'm gonna reserve. I'm gonna totally put some more out on that one because I've just always seen it as, as a single trailer. We haven't really seen any gameplay or anything like that. Yeah, that's that true. Yeah. Thanks know. Xbox. Thanks yeah. Xbox. Yeah, but uh, I mean, for me, I, I'm just like <laughs> right now, like right off the bat, I'm, I'm excited for Death Stranding on PC because I haven't played it, and I'll be waiting for it to come on PC. So I'm gonna play that when it comes out on the 14. Definitely Ghosts of Shishima. And uh, is it Hiroshima or no, Hiroshima? Tsushima? It starts with the T, of course. Oh. I can't wait for Fast and Furious Crossroads, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we can we can segue into the next one because you got Heroes you know, Horizon Zero Dawn coming to PC in August as well. Well, so. that yeah, we yeah, that's gonna yeah, actually, yeah, let's just say that real quick. That's actually coming to PC as well, it's been confirmed. Uh, specs yeah. have been released, I think it's coming out in August, it was it. Uh, 
And then yeah, August seventh. And of course, yeah. for me as well, that Star Wars Squadron game. I cannot wait for that yeah. one too. Uh, oh that, my one, God. that one looks so good. And but Dude, again, if you did, if, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, yeah. no, no. Go ahead. Oh, we're also expecting Halo. That's what I was about to say right now. Yeah, but that one's Halo. Not been we haven't updated yet. we haven't gotten a confirm uh, confirmed date, but yeah. it is coming out twenty twenty. It's gonna come out with the new Xbox Series X. I can't wait for that. And just some of the other games that I'm kind of excited for that are not haven't been like talked about uh, as a release date yet is twelve minutes. Uh, uh, that that was actually a really interesting game that I saw uh, doing E3 last year. I, I want to oh, play yeah. that one. Uh, Where like you, you mm -hmm. all, it's the same day you change yeah. the murder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> What's up, Los? <laughs> hey, when is the Xbox uh, like uh, presentation? Man, I don't want this month. July twenty seventh. I, think, uh, I want to see, see wait on. but I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm not too happy with Xbox too. Cause they did say that they were going to be releasing content every month. They didn't do shit for June, but not a I want to, I want to, I want to hold my, my hatred for them until I see the, their next presentation, because maybe yeah. they were like, you know what? We fucked up the first one. Let's not do yeah, that again. Exactly. Let's rework yeah. it and make sure we get it right. They can write. They can correct the course, right? Yeah, they they could, could, yeah. If they could show up, if they show us Halo gameplay, no, we will it's, forget. It has everything. to be more. No, 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 no. It has we to be. You cannot everything. put your chips on just Halo. You have to give me more. No, of course. Right? You but have if to they give end me more. that conference, because just one more thing, and boom, <laughs> Halo. <laughs> no, no, no. It, hell it, yeah. No, I, I need to see more um, from Xbox. Xbox has let me down all year. It's just been horrible. Outside of the specs for the actual Xbox Series X or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, the new console, uh, which I, I think it's it's stronger and powerful than, than the PS5. I need to see more. I, I cannot just, you cannot just, they do this every year. Every time they come up with a new console, Halo, Halo. And like Halo 5 was not good. Halo 5 was Multiplayer was good. Multiplayer was good. You know what? Halo 5 was good. It was not great. Just to talk about um a little bit of uh, JP's favorite 10 out of 10 game of this year, The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, they're not the first <laughs> ones to do that bullshit. Like, no spoilers, but there's a lot of, like, uh like turns of, like, you think you're going to play with this character, but then you don't. Halo 2 did that. Uh, What was it? Uh, Halo 5 did that. Uh, there was another game that did that too. I can't remember what it was. I just had it off the top of my head. But there, were, oh, Metal Gear Solid Two did that. Metal Gear Solid Two, yeah. Uh, like, like, I, so far, like sometimes if they know how to pull it off, they they can get an okay rating. But sometimes when they try to do that shit, it just fails so bad. But anyways, that's a whole different conversation. But, but it, it, yeah, but it's Halo, like Master Chief. You don't want to play as anyone else, exactly. But Master Chief, exactly. <laughs> that was my point. With the last of us too. <laughs> we don't give a shit about your other character. We only care yeah, about but... two characters. Okay, okay. Um uh okay, so I just want to repeat what you guys are saying. Uh Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I want that remake in my veins right away. Uh Star Wars Rogue Squadrons, Ghost of Tsushima's, Cyberpunk. Oh, and Cyberpunk. whatever comes out with the release of the new systems, Man. we'll yeah, see. I want to see for the supposedly Spider Man uh, Miles Morales is coming out with yeah. the Holiday this year, no, no, so. it's not, but you it's know not. what? Speaking of the oh. new systems, we did get some uh, information regarding the NBA 2K21 uh, pre-order for the new systems. Yeah. Um, there is a little bit of a, a little bit of a shocker when it came to the the price for the, the new price. game. That game is gonna cost you a nice little seven zero seventy dollars for next gen consoles. Now, it it it, it kind of <laughs> seems like 2K is taking the brunt of this, as in terms of like why the you gonna do that? Like, who who do you think yeah. you are? Like, but honestly, they're 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 the the chosen ones, the first of the fallen, because they're gonna be leading the way of like this is probably how next gen consoles are gonna be costing in video game mm -hmm. terms, because See, they they try to they try to say like, hey, you know, movie tickets have gone up, Netflix has doubled in price, like on. gone up a hundred percent. Like they they try to like make up for the reasoning for this, but honestly, it. Yes, I understand. But do I like it? Hell no. Nah. He, here's my thing. I, I don't mind. Because, look, anything that's good, you're going to want to pay for it. I don't mind. It's it, At the end of the day, with taxes, it's $66. Okay? Round it up. It's just $6. All right? Mm -hmm. You're paying for it all. There's more. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Like the, the overall. Taxes, yeah. yeah. Right now. Right now. Yeah, right okay. now. Okay? Here's my issue. This is why people are starting to buy just specific games. Because you're not going to spend 70 bucks on a piece of shit Madden game that is from like, <laughs> it, it's 2003 and that's 2001. You're not going to do that. There's no point. 
So you're, this gaming companies, they're going to have to change your method. Another thing, if leaks come out, don't be bitching. It's seventy dollars. People were pissed off that I actually had to buy this game that we just mentioned, this ten out of ten game. They were pay, pissed off when they played the game and saw that it was actual trash. Like you cannot do that. You have to. There's got to be some give and take there because I don't mind giving seventy dollars if it's worth it. Mm-hmm. If you're giving me mm-hmm. Legend of Zelda two, because Legend of Zelda, the one that I'm playing now for the Switch, is still fifty. What fifty five ninety nine? Well, Nintendo it games have, have been known not to drop their prices. Mm-hmm. Like Nintendo games, yeah, Nintendo the most, doesn't drop. Doesn't, they don't but drop prices, bro. What, what I mean to say is, it was worth it for me to buy it. I could have just bought it for my sister, but it was worth it for me to buy it. Oh, okay. Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. If it's worth it, we'll pay. Gamers will pay. Yeah. Gamers pay for PCs. Like if it's worth it, they they will yeah. pay. No, but you I, have to I mean, make it worth it. I think uh, that we've been trending this way for a while. Uh, mm. Game development is expensive. It's not cheap. It takes years upon years. So I'm not surprised. I mean, I you know I've been thinking this was gonna happen for years now. So yeah. Uh, it's it's unfortunate for 2K. I don't like that company overall. I think they 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 haggle their people for all the money they can with all the you don't like the modes they put in their game. Uh, no 2K. <laughs> uh, how they yeah the my team you buy packs like they they milk the crap out of their customers and that's fine that's their prerogative. But for those companies that are you know single player games you're trying to give the best uh stuff out there. I I mean. I'm this, not this, this is a rumor. This is a rumor. It's not. It's not. Yeah, you right. say yeah. I mean, but I think it's it, gonna happen. Yeah, I, mean, I think. Yeah, it, no, no. There was somebody else already talking about it. Like this is probably gonna be the norm for AAA games, um, for the 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 high dollar costing games, the beautiful looking games on next gen consoles. They're like, if you want all that ray tracing, all that the no, yep. no loading time, and all this bullshit, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to pay for it. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. No, and and, mm. and what we've seen in the last, uh, you know, especially this generation, is with indie titles, with first party titles, with those mid tier titles, you're seeing now a wide variety of prices yeah. uh, that you can select from. You can buy a game for five dollars, ten dollars, buy a game for. Road Squadron. Uh, no, Star Wars Squadron is forty dollars. Yeah. Exactly. So, you you know if if that's you can't saying, afford the take. seventy, yeah. Give if you can't afford take. the seventy, I understand. That's a lot to pay for a product. You know, so you know, it, I understand. JD, do you have but, any takes on this? Well, I mean, this this is I think it was what <clears throat> Call of, I'm looking at here. I think it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. They were probably I think it was one of the first ones to break the sixty dollar record for a video game. So there's always going to be that one studio that's going to try and push it and once they do and people allow them to do that then it's going to continue on that path yeah. if you, I mean, you know and yeah you, you know los is right you know these these things take a long time to make it's just going to take a lot of money and a lot of manpower yeah so it, these games are going to get you know and it, yeah and they're, 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 with the graphics becoming even better and you know video editing becoming even better you're going to have to start increasing prices just to cover that if we want to be able to play these games in a good in a good context like we're gonna look with the with the new console so yeah i mean i'm boomer enough to know to remember when it was like 45 dollars for a game right and then yeah. they went up to 50 then and then they finally went up to 60 i was like fuck you know <laughs> but, my issue though is with some of these games that do come out like this and don't have enough content oh like, yeah. that no, might be no yeah you, you, pay, you, pay, think... you pay 67 bucks for a game and you only play it for like two or three hours yeah no 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 Resident my thing is three. this Really? My thing is this. If you're gonna do that, okay. You wanna raise the price? You wanna raise the price on video games? That's right. Free DLC. No more paying for DLCs. Used to be free the well, Actually, I think DLCs in the beginning were actually free for a while. They were. And then, and then uh, Activision noticed that hey, we can make some money off of this. And then everybody well, started following again, suit. <laughs> you you got people, you know, working on these DLCs as well. They gotta pay them somehow, and so then including always... the game take longer. I mean, we're paying five dollars extra. Not always, because sometimes you sometimes you have a game ready to go that you want to put out, and then you, but if you put the DLC out right away, now you don't have that playability because down the line. The like, I, the, I, the, I, the longevity of the game, yeah, I know yeah. And, and I don't agree with it because at the end of the day, the majority of people getting that money are people like Neil Druckmann. <laughs> or, or people, like, what the fuck do I want to give them that shit? You, you do know that most companies give out bonuses to their employees. That's my point. Yeah. So give me free yeah. DLCs. Hey, free, you know what? Like That's true. I, I'm DLCs. like, you know what? Halo 2 did that too. They did the DLCs for the maps. I just remembered that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, whatever. Anyways, uh, just uh, go over this uh, really quick. Hyperscape, a new Ubisoft game. 
Uh, it's a new battle royale. Um, actually, it's it right now. It's in beta, and like the only way to play it, you have to like get a key from watching one of the streams. Now, the 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 I can I guess kind of like the uh, gimmick for this one is that it's Twitch integrated. So if you're playing this and streaming it, like your your chat actually can like have some kind of like effect in the game that's like that happens real time. Now again, I haven't been able to play it yet. I just got a key. I'll probably try it out uh, sometime tonight or probably tomorrow uh, to see how it is and probably give you more info on next week if it's actually any good. But so far, it looks interesting, but it looks a little bit too like too sci-fi, too high tech. I think I don't know. Just something about it is kind of like. Oh, that looks scary. <laughs> uh, I, I saw a little bit of it. It reminds me a lot of, of Overwatch. The clips that I, I never really played played Overwatch, but I, I, I've seen little clips here and there. Uh, I've seen Elias play. It reminds me of the same thing. Uh, I mean, it, it, I guess for Twitch, it's real, it'll be real good, but... Uh, eh. Yeah, I'd seen another game kind of similar to this concept uh, for Twitch. I don't, I don't remember what the name of it was, but I know it was one of my streamers I used to watch played it all the time. And yeah, you could go in there and you could sit there and in the chat, you could send it, you know, have to send helpful or hurt stuff, you know, send stuff that would hurt the, hurt the character they were playing too, just to be, you know, doing to be a troll. Yeah. So it's kind of, it does, those kind of games are kind of interesting. So it would be interesting to see how this one develops. Loves? Um, yeah, I've seen a little bit of it. It's not really, I'm not much interested in it. So, okay. yeah. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> it's not for everybody. Uh, but all right, just to get, uh, close out gaming here, we also want to talk about. Brian Reckful Bernstein. Now, this one again. I was telling these guys, I really don't know who this is, but me either. Uh, we me did. Either. We we did notice this uh, during like on Twitch, on Twitter, on all over social media, basically, of uh, his passing. I believe he committed suicide. I'm not too informed on this situation. That's what I've, that's what I've seen as well. Go ahead, JD. Do you know yeah. more about this? Well, I mean, I, that's, that's, I mean, just, that's pretty much the basic. You know, the, the basic thing I've been seeing is, again, he, he was getting trolled a lot in his in his Twitch streams. I mean, people were just being real hateful. Mm -hmm. And it, it ended up, I guess it was just he had some mental health issues and ended up uh, taking his life in the process. And, and there was a big thing. I guess he was a big WoW player, uh, World of Warcraft. And so there was a big gathering of both sides, you know, Alliance yeah. and Horde. And, and wow, and people just telling their stories about what what he, his streams kind of meant to them and, and that kind of thing. It was just interesting. It was just nice to see that the game community was coming together yeah. in a time to re remember someone. And he was young. He yeah, was he really was, young. He was like in his early, like late night, late twenties, I think, wasn't he? I I would say this, man. We we have to find a way, because uh, yes, mental health is something serious. But each one of us individually, each and our how to be stronger. All right, like sticks and stones may break your bones, but words. Fuck words. Words don't do shit. And, and I, lately I've been seeing a lot of that trend where these people are very sensitive to words. At the end of the day, you can control your own shit. Um, take it from me. People don't like me. And I don't give a fuck. And guess what? They can say whatever they want, but I'm still going to live my life. Um, so it sucks that a lot of people, we, we have to learn how to make not just ourselves stronger, but also other people who are like that. I think mental health is a very strong thing but at the same time we have to learn how to better ourselves and make ourselves stronger at the end of the day oh uh oh shoot sorry i gotta like this ad playing but uh actually i found this article from fox news um it's uh, it says here uh brian redford uh, bernstein a popular twitch streamer and world of warcraft gamer has died he was 31 uh, Bernstein's older brother Gary Bernstein confirmed his tragic news via Twitter on Thursday. "Quote my brother, my baby brother By Byron, at uh, Redful is gone. Uh, rest in peace." And quote Gary wrote in of the Austin, Texas based gamer. "Quote he left in a similar way as my older brother guy. Um, I've no siblings left. If you have stories or pictures of him, uh, please share them." End quote. Ooh, 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 ooh. I couldn't hear. She warned you. You got girl bad on that one. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, it's basically said. Uh, uh, quote, my baby brother uh, Byron at Redful is gone, uh, rest in peace, and quote, Gary wrote of the Texas-based uh, gamer, quote, he left in a similar way as my older brother, a guy, I've had, I've no siblings left, if you have it, stories and pictures of him, please share them, end quote. So, I mean, wow, I guess his, they had another brother that also passed away the same way by committing suicide. Now, this, I mean, yeah, I mean, sometimes, I can't, I can't say, like, like, I don't know what he feels because I mean I've been like I've been like depressed too, dude. Like I think everybody's been depressed at one point. Yeah. Or another. And like it sucks. And I mean, it, it, you know, for me, I had those thoughts before, but it's not like it's not like I didn't have a, a good support system around me too to be able to talk to somebody. But that's the unfortunate thing. Some people don't. Some people don't want to reach that's out. True. Some, some people are yeah. are like 
scared or how they're gonna be looked at if they talk about this uh, uh, like out on the open but that's the other thing too we should like make it abundant and clear like if you start to feel like that if you don't if you feel depressed if you feel if you have these suicidal thoughts talk to somebody it doesn't have to be somebody you know because sometimes you know what i have like an open conversation with somebody i have never met in my life sometimes and i give them all these details and shit mostly because i know they don't know me so they're not going to be judging me so go there's like uh I'm, i know there's there's uh phone numbers that you can call you mm -hmm. can reach out to people just yeah. to talk i mean sometimes that's the best thing to do just let it out conversate with somebody and if you can like if you have the means to you know talk to a professional as well but yeah i mean honestly suicide, suicide is not the answer please like if you guys again if you if you, anybody out there listening like has any like thoughts like this please talk reach out to somebody shit you can reach out to yeah. one of us just not jp <laughs> Well, yeah, because I'm just I'm gonna just be like, if, you, if you're breathing, because the way I see it, if you're breathing, you can fight. That's it. You just fight, 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 fight. Yeah, the That's way, all you the, way can do. the way I've always looked at it, well, not always. I've, it took me a while to come to this realization is that words only have the power that you give them. Yep. And if you do not give them power, they cannot control you. Yep, so. That's good. All right, let's end gaming right there and move into sports. <sighs> Touchdown, it's a home run! And oh. Bill O'Brien makes another mistake on the red zone. <laughs> Sports. All right. Uh, so NFL trade rumors in sports. And also, apparently, Jadavian Clowney going to the Cowboys. What is going on here? So it's rumored that uh, Jadavian Clowney is going to sign. For what I'm seeing here at ESPN, it, mm -hmm. it seems like sources are saying he will sign with the Cowboys. Now, the Cowboys have not done really well against the run. So having Jadavian Clowney, I think, in, if, once they sign him, if they sign him, which I'm pretty sure they will, Jerry Jones is always good with that, except signing his quarterback. But um, I, I, th that will improve their run game. We also have the tight end for the Browns, and Joku, who was injured last season, asked for a trade, which is surprising to me. You would want to think that you're, you're – it looks like you're going to be on a winning team if Baker Mayfield uh, gets his act together. And, and, you know, he was a good target for Baker Mayfield, uh, but apparently he wants out. He's asking for a trade. Uh, and we're not really sure why. He doesn't really say. His agent, Drew Rosenhaus, uh, did tell Adam Schefter that they want to do it, and, and supposedly he feels like it's his best interest to find a new team at this time. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, um, also, with in regards to the another rumor is in, in signing, uh, mm -hmm. we also have the Houston uh, Bill O'Briens um, interested in Antonio Brown from the looks of it. It's even here on Yahoo, um, on Yahoo Sports, that Deshaun Watson seems interested in talking with Antonio Browns to the Bill O'Briens. So the issue with Antonio Brown, though, would be is if they do sign him, he won't be able to start. He will be suspended from the NFL a couple of games. So I'm not really sure. Now, whether the uh, head coach, general manager, uh, assistant head coach, uh, offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien is interested. It's a different question. We'll certainly keep an eye on it. I know they, they have Brandon Cooks, Will Fuller, and Kenny Stills. But yeah, I feel like uh, you think if they let – No, go ahead. They let, they let the best receiver in the league go. They trade him for a second-round pick because we all know uh, Bill O'Brien didn't like his attitude. <laughs> what makes us think that he's going to go get Antonio Brown with a well, much – Shittier out of him. Because, an because he's cheaper. No, no, I have an answer. Um, well, Bill that's true. Not, that's not true. Smart, he's not a smart man. He's cheaper. So th that to me, you know, is is the answer. He's not a very smart man. Um, but you know, who knows? Uh, Brown is he, oh, he's a he's a dumbass, is what you're saying? Um, yes, yes. <laughs> Jadavian Clowney. I mean, I don't think going to the Cowboys is oh, a dumb deal. I, I think, think he would be great. He would be I a great think he fit would there. be great. I think he would be a great fit there. They got Gerald McCoy there already. Uh, they're really building a scheme around the, the they D have line. Those, they have those two linebackers as well. Sean, the, Lee. Uh, Sean Lee, Van Horsen, and the other guy. Um, uh, so they, they have. I don't think so. Uh, what's his Van Van Horsen? What's his name? Uh, the, the linebackers. The point is, they have a good linebacking core. They're going to fix their front four, their front three. Uh, in defense, and really what their weaknesses is, in which they're trying to solve by trying to ch get Jamal Adams, is their safeties and cornerbacks. Those are their main weaknesses, uh, mm -hmm. as of right now, defensively. Defensively, because offensively, yeah. we already know that Dak Prescott is not the answer. We already know he's a good, he's a dumbass. Um, you talking so, about he's a second coming pen um, running. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, they said he was yeah, second but, coming to Tom Brady. But it would be a really good signing for the Cowboys, but the Browns are also whispers out there that the Browns are interested in Jadavion and Clowney. 
um, which the Browns are trying to, you know, they can, they're trying to get talent from wherever they can. He's well, Miles Garrett something. is coming back. Miles Garrett is coming back from a suspension from hitting uh, uh, the quarterback uh, Mason with the with the helmet, so which he deserved. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, and then uh, yeah, I don't think Antonio Brown to the Texans is going to happen. I think that's a long shot. I think Seattle's more uh, uh, likely to get him. Um, I will say this: We thought it was a long shot that uh, Bill O'Brien would trade away DeAndre Hopkins. So <laughs> that's true. I mean, <laughs> who who even thought sorry. he was in a trade, DeAndre? I mean, I mean, it, it's it's up in the air with Bill O'Brien and the Bill o, Houston Bill O'Briens. Uh, we'll see how it goes this season. It'll be interesting to watch his dumbass. All right. Well, also uh, speaking. Oh, go ahead. Oh, is are we gonna talk about the big signing? The big signing. Oh my god. Oh lord. No one cares, dude. Cam no Newton cares. is now oh, with the that's Patriots. Right. Yeah. Well, still no one cares. Cam Newton also signed with the Patriots on a one year deal. Weak minded are... Cam Newton with the Patriots. <sighs> Good luck. First off, first off, I want to just say this. When Tom Brady was injured and they all, they, the Patriots went 11 and 5, uh, they did it with, what was his name again? Does anyone remember? Uh, Matt, what? Matt Hassel. Matt Castle. Castle. Matt Castle. Matt Castle. Castle. Matt Castle. Matt Castle. So if he can go 11 and 5 with Matt Castle, oh, oh, he can go to the playoffs with Cam Newton and win the oh, season. Oh, easy. 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 Cam, easy. stop running. Easy. Stop running, God damn it. <laughs> He's gonna, now, be, he's gonna be running all over that field, bro. He's gonna he's gonna fuck up his career again. They got this former MVP on the super cheap, cause the league I guess has devalued him. But the guy's only thirty one years old. That's when usually when these quarterbacks he, are. He devalued the himself after that Super Bowl loss. He was so weak about that, man. He was that, and he but was in now. That um, but now he has the best coach in the league. The best coach right? in NFL history. If, if not the best offensive coach coordinator but in the is league. He, and defensive I mean, he's not toted as their starter yet, is he? Because they still have no, the other no, quarterback. No. It's going to be a quarterback battle. Okay. And he's going to win, dude. It's Come, come on, man. We it's, don't know. It's, come on, hey, man. We'll see. Come on, man. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll so see. then a lot of people are, hey, hey, like you said, we didn't know that Bill O'Brien was going to trade away. Uh, no, no. This is, no, no, no. This is Bill Belichick. No, no, no. That's a big difference. Bill Belichick. This is Bill Belichick. This is Bill Belichick. It's different with Bill Belichick. You, you believe no, in Cam, look, Belichick. Cam's, Cam, this is a prove it deal. Cam's going to go in there. He's He's been working his butt off. This guy wants to prove it to the rest of the league. Exactly. I am an MVP caliber quarterback. And I'm, I'm finally going to have a team. And a coach. going to help me demonstrate coach. that. Did, and he's like, didn't they have no, a shitty no ass defense, though? It doesn't matter. With, with, with Bill uh, Belichick, defense is, like, always going to be there. They're always going to come in the clutch, as we have seen several times in, in years before in Super Bowls. Uh, at the end of the day, I think that Bill Belichick will decide who's going to be a starter. If he chooses to go with Cam Newton, it's because he really <laughs> believes that Cam Newton is going to take him. And they got him cheap. It's a one-year deal, a very, very minimal. I think it's a minimal amount, I think. So now nah, it's like a one million with incentives for Cam on how he plays. Yeah, for Cam Newton, that's so he's, very, very cheap. He's very, very cheap. Yeah. So no, we'll it's see. a great deal for the Patriots. It's a good deal for Cam. You get to play for the best coach in the league. It's a win-win for both parties. I'll be yeah. surprised if they don't get if he doesn't win the starting job. If Bill Belichick sees that he's not performing on the field, he won't give him the starting job. Man. Exactly. Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick. Is Bill, Belichick. Bill, Belichick so. is Bill Belichick. This ain't no Bill O'Brien. This ain't no what's Mr. Clapper's name? Jason uh, Garrett. Uh, this ain't no uh, Ron Riviera. This is Bill Belichick who has won five Super Bowls or six Super Bowls. Has, as a head coach. Uh, has Coach Clapp been picked up yet or no? No, Coach Clapp uh, is seems to be the off- will will probably be the offensive coordinator for the New York Giants. Oh yeah, that's right. Oof, that's gonna be It's iffy. It's iffy. Yeah. But uh, you know, as I said, Bill Belichick has won a Super Bowl as a defensive coordinator. I think he's won two with the New York Giants. So I have all the trust with Bill Belichick. He will decide who the starter is. But this season has turned out to be interesting, specifically Speaking for the AFC. Speaking of this season, NFLPA has voted to cancel the room. The preseason games. Now, this is just a vote between the players. Now, it, it still has to be confirmed with the league itself. So, they're taking it into uh, consideration. So, nice. may, maybe sometime uh, next week we'll find out more information about that regarding the preseason games. 
Also, talking about canceling, MLB cancels All Star Game. No one cares. Yeah, nobody cares. No no one cares. cares. <laughs> I will say. I just want to say. I just want to say about MLB. We are so close. We to the season getting started. We? I am super excited. Uh, they're in the middle of summer training, usually spring training, but now it's summer training. Everybody's back with their respective teams, and we are so close. We are, you know, three weeks away from seeing I will say this out in the field. I thought the most trolling thing was that guy that, I don't know his name, but that, that, that baseball player trolling the Houston Astros, that they would say Trash Town. That shit was hilarious. Um, that I thought, not because I, I hate the Houston Astros because I don't give a shit, you know, but it's just funny to me how he trolls them. So I thought that was cool. And speaking of getting rid of the trolls, quote unquote, Redskins undergoing name change? <laughs> What's going yes. on there? So FedEx is their main sponsor. Go ahead, uh, JD. Yeah, this has been big for a long time. I remember when I was, I think, probably in grade school, this got started. Um, uh, and of course, now they're funny. Yeah, yeah, they're fi- they're finally taking some. Uh, it's finally, I guess, the current state of events is causing them to finally put in some uh, thought into changing their name. I guess, yeah, because what? I guess Fed up. It, fed it's up a couple of them. sponsors. I, I FedEx, and there's another one also that's a big sponsor that is threatening to pull out, and so uh, the Redskins under pressure to change their Never name or lose a lot of money. <laughs> All right, let me let me um, read this article from ESPN actually. Uh, the Washington Redskins are likely to change their name, a source told ESPN's Adam Schefter. After the team announced Friday, it will go undergo uh, it will quote undergo a thorough review quote end quote of the nickname amid uh, renewed pressure quote in light of the recent events around our country and feedback from our community, the Washington Redskins are announcing the team will undergo a thorough review of the team's name. The, this review formalizes the initial discussions the team has been having with the leagues with the league in the recent weeks and quote the statement said quote. Uh, we believe the re- this review can and will be conducted with the best interest of all in mind. And quote, team owner Dan Snyder has been under more pressure in recent weeks to change the name, given the national focus on human rights and social injustice after the death of George Floyd in Minnesota. Quote, this process allows the team to take into the account not only the proud tradition of the and history of the franchise, but also input from our alumni, the organization sponsors, the national sponsors, really just sponsors. That's all they really And cares. Pepsi too. Sponsor Pe- and Pepsi the local them. community is proud to represent on and off the field. And quote Snyder said in a statement, really, yeah, once the money starts like to get uh, fucked with, basically, no, then and changes it's not just come. That. It's not just that. Nike took their gear off. So they, Nike's not selling their gear, and I don't know why Nike should be allowed. Oh to do yeah, that. Nike. That, that was the other one. Na- Nike. Should Nike be, is. Nike should be sued because they can't do that. They can't do that. They made yeah, a sign of contract. They cannot. They cannot do that because at yeah, the end of the day, they have to represent all everybody. So, so for for me. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nike's after him. For for me, <laughs> for me, uh, I feel like um, I, I guess I can see how Redskins could be insensitive, but I also I, I at the same time I'm like. Most of you motherfuckers don't even know the history about Redskins. Uh, most of you motherfuckers that just talk out of your ass. So I say keep the name, but if you change it something cooler, I'm down with that too. Uh, maybe like, because it's such a tradition of like them dressing as like Indians and wearing like all this Indian stuff. So maybe Native in a way, American. uh, Indians, Native Americans, whatever. It's Native um, Americans. Mm, we all have Native, well, I have Native American in me, so does those. So, Ew, um, is here he, I is got he in there right now? What the fuck? <laughs> I got a couple of potential names here. Give me a moment. Uh, uh, well, Washington like, hold on, hold on. Sentinels. Uh, let me also just read this before you go into that. On Thursday, FedEx, which has the naming rights to the team st- uh, stadium under a two hundred and five million dollar deal that runs until twenty twenty five, requested the team change its name. Sponsors Nike and PepsiCo also reportedly are under pressure to serve t- sever ties with the team unless it changes its name. Adwick has reported. So, okay, go ahead. All right, so we got Sentinels is the same name of the team from the replacements with Keanu Reeves. Hey, I'll uh, mm-hmm. uh, Washington's uh, Washington Pigskins. I like that because the they used to have the Hogs at the uh, offensive line from back in the day. Yeah, the Washington Pigskins, Washington Warriors. Nobody not wants really. to be named Pigs. Like you don't yeah. want your name to be a okay. pig. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Washington Federals. The Washington like Washington Federals. <laughs> I that like makes that. Because it is DC, no. so that would, that would make more sense. No. Yeah, Washington Federals. Come on. 
Okay, we all agree. That's the best name. No, that, I that's, <laughs> that'll be that'll already. be too easy to be like Federals, like the Confederate Army. What's going on here? Like, come on, oh my it's, God, it's come too on. easy, baby. It's too I easy. Want- the Washington Sentinels with Keanu Reeves on their helmet. Sentinels, I wouldn't mind, but Sentinels, were you using that name in terms of what? It's just what, the movie. Yeah, they have, they have, they'd have to get all kinds of copyright yeah. issues going with that because it is, it is in a movie. So I mean, that would the Washington to, uh, Diplomats, like Sentinels, <laughs> like as in the X Men Sentinels. Are we talking about them? Yes. You know they yes. get their ass kicked all the time, right? You know. That's right. Right. So that's, that's pretty perfect then. Not awesome. Well, today. I like the Federals. I like the Diplomats as well. The Washington no. Diplomats. No. But Federals. I like the Washington Federals. I like that. Just be the National. Kinda impose the law. Is it, impose is the it law. A, I mean, you have Mr. Washington Bill Nationals. There. Just get Washington, National. The Washington Bill O'Briens and Tim Bill O'Brien over there. And then that way they can suck even more. All <laughs> right. Uh, and that's going to end it for sports. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go into our final topic Pop culture Alright Amazon has Spoken And uh, you know what I'm going to let you take care of this Because I hate this game <laughs> Yeah ahead. it looks like Amazon's going to be doing a Fallout series, Fallout TV series Which actually has been I think some of the people have been requesting for quite a while So um, I know Two of our guys don't like the, wow. like the we're game. Gonna, actually we're the gonna game. watch a bunch of people walk around a uh, desert wasteland and, and find no, garbage. All there's, there's wow, a couple of, a much, couple of big much action, game so captivating. Time, so. so it'll probably be like the final seasons of uh, Walking Dead, basically. It'll be kind of boring. What well, I find ironic is that Fallout is all about how capitalism went wrong and ended to the apocalypse of uh, humankind. And it's uh, Amazon <laughs> creating this. <laughs> all right. Well, let me read, right. let me read this from The Verge then. Let's, just, let's get it out there for all the nerds out there. Amazon is <laughs> making a new Fallout TV series based on the popular post-apocalyptic RPG game from Bethesda. Uh, there are virtually no details on the project except it, that it will be in an Amazon Prime original product by Kelter Films. A report from The Hollywood Reporter as that the project is coming to, from Westworld creators Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nol- Nolan. You're kind as, of muffling a little bit there, dude. Uh, Jonathan Nolan, uh, as part of their overall deal with Amazon, Bethesda Game Studios' Todd Howard oh, and Bethesda uh, Soft, Softworks, James Altman, uh, will also serve as executive producers on the project, which is still in development stages. So there is nothing yet. It's just... Nope. It's, it's just that it's coming out maybe two, a, three years from it's now. It's a thing. It's a thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I mean, mean, the very first game had some pretty big names attached to it as for voice acting. I mean, Richard Dean Anderson, uh, Keith David, yeah, you had Richard Mole, Ron Perlman, CCH Pounder, Tony Shalhoub. I mean, so this is not something that was just kind of thrown mm. thrown together. Yeah, whatever. But I mean, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you got you got Westworld and and Nolan. You know, working on this. So yeah, it's kind first of season was good. After that, has been downhill. Nah. Especially, um, especially I'll, towards I'll the it. end of the first season. Holy crap! Did it get boring? <laughs> yeah, I but know, I'll check it out. So, um, I mean, I'm yeah. interested. Whenever it comes hey out, guys, I'll give it a, a try. Hey guys, I gotta go because my family's here. All right. But um, I do apologize for that. It's mm-hmm. July fourth, so we gotta. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Uh, don't follow quarantine rules. Stay six, six feet pretty close yeah. to each other. Yeah. Don't worry about it. No, my family's good. So uh, you yeah, just told people. us your sister was next to somebody who could have it. Yeah, but my sister, my sister, <laughs> it's, just my, it's just my parents, and my in-laws. It's just my parents, my in-laws, and me. And me. We maybe and have like friends. Uh, fifteen more minutes. Friends. Don't forget about your friends and their friends because they make out with and their friends. friends. Uh, okay, bye. Lose has, has COVID. Lose has COVID. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, uh, moving into the next topic here. Walmart converting parking lots lots into pop-up drive-in theaters. I yeah. saw a little bit of this. I didn't, I didn't read the whole article, JD. It's going to be in August. I think they're going to start doing it. Uh, I think it's August 12th. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to start. It's not every all of them. I think it's only like maybe the first I saw was 160. Now I'm seeing about 300 uh, parking lots going to be turned, converted into uh, drive-in theaters around the country. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how that works out. Um, that'll be kind of interesting because you think, I mean, drive it right now. You can't go to a movie theater because of COVID, but uh, driving theaters work out real well. No, no, no. They have movie theaters here open. 
You but can, but you, if you wanted but to. But the, you can. But the theaters, theaters are showing like old ass mm-hmm. movies. Like I think like a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, they were like the number one movie this uh, this month or this week is Jurassic Park from 1995 or something. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. But uh, yeah. So Walmart movie drive in movie theaters. What do you think? What do you thought? Please leave us in the comments below. You're going to hit up Walmart again. Let's go. Um, and finally here in our pop culture topics, um, Mr. Beast, famous big old YouTuber here. Uh, Mr. Beast has been like get, giving out money like all year long. Like he's, he, I think he was estimating like he's, he's been giving out like in the millions, like 10 million or some shit like that. It was, from what I understand, that's how he got his name on YouTube was, it was, uh, giving out money like that and recording himself giving out money like that. Yeah, he had, he's oh. been he's been giving out a bunch of money this year. Well, he's a, he was continuing that uh, trend with uh, this new app. It's called Finger on the App Competition. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, uh, this is from the article. Actually, it just ended. Mr. Beast ends Finger on the App Competition by telling players to stop after seventy hours. Uh, after watching. Uh, uh, contestants keep their fingers attached to a phone screen for more than 70 hours. YouTube creator Jimmy, uh, Mr. Beast, Donaldson ca- called an early end to a massive competition originally designed with one winner and a $25,000 prize in mind. The result, four winners, each walking away with $20,000 in their finger hands. Uh, did you guys play? Did you even guys even know about this? I, I, I didn't even heard of it. I thought it was over. Yeah, I heard about it, but it was like too late by the time I found out about yeah. it. Uh, no, I saw it. Uh, it. It was it was funny because I was you know it, it would show up on Twitter. I would kind of see the updates on Twitter mm-hmm. and people really going out of the way. There were people that were getting messed up by their streams because their streams would comment and make the streamer say "Hey Siri" some mm-hmm. way somehow. It would. Oh crap! I'm surprised I didn't pop up on my phone. <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it it made people's. Uh, a Siri pop up on their phone and messed up their streams, uh, messed up their their freaking uh, games, so they lost. So yeah, it's pretty yeah. pretty funny. A lot of a lot of videos like that. Uh, but hey, man, Mr. Beast, uh, giving out money to the people out there struggling. So that was to that. He was doing out like five and ten thousand dollars with some of the folks towards the end of, to have them stop playing, you know, just to, just so he could uh, end this thing a little a little bit sooner. So yeah, who knows, I mean, he, was, he actually did give up. Yeah, he he was. I think he. I saw one of his tweets. Um, that he was like, "Look, if you guys are still playing, and like for the last X amount of people, I forgot how many it was at that time. They're like, if you guys get your finger off the the game, like I'll give you five thousand dollars. And I don't know if anybody actually like redeemed that. And then I think Lo said earlier today that he he was uh that one of the contestants was like, you know what, I can't keep doing this or something. What was it again, Lowe's? Well, he was. Uh, the person was like, "Hey, you know, I'm a witness, but you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't have the time for this. Like, I could win. This. Like, the they were like, you know, I'm gonna win this. Like, I have a, a big advantage, is what they said. Um, but you know what? I'll call it right now if you just give me. I think they asked for like 12k oh, out man. of the 25, and Mr. Beast was like, I'll, I'll give you 10, and we got a deal. And boom, the guy took 10k and and quit." And uh, a couple of hours later, if he would have stuck it out for like half a day later, uh, that's when Mr. Beast called the competition and he uh, he gave out 20000 to, to all four, of them. So, yeah, to four of them. Yeah, so if he would have waited like a couple of hours there, he probably would have gotten another ten. but who knows? No. Looks like looks like he gave out about $110,000 altogether. Wow. Because you, you got the four winners of 20000 two of them got 10000 and two got 5000 Oh, wow. So, yeah. All, all right. tax write-offs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for our podcast episode today. That's number forty six. Almost, almost at fifty two for another year. Um, but we're gonna end this with a final punch. Uh, JD, what you got? What you got? Um, not a lot this week. I mean, it's just been pretty, pretty much a, a easy week for me. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto Five, and uh, you know, we just we're this is gonna be after. Um, they we're recording this on July 4th, so I you know, hope everybody stayed safe and oh, yeah. uh, happy July 4th. Had I fun. forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, however, like I said, I hope everybody had an enjoyable weekend and, you know, again, stay safe with COVID. So let's try to see if we can get these numbers down. Los? Um, yeah, stay inside. Wear a mask. <laughs> stay inside um, and wear a mask. You mean to sleep. 
uh, I just want to say I just had my first full work week like in a long time. It felt really good to be back in adulting. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just uh, TLDR about my work. I, I do work for the city and it is like involving COVID. So that's why I'm all like, you guys might want to wear that mask because I get a lot of calls about people and like a lot of people are like, I got COVID. I got COVID. I'm like, oh shit. So you, you, should, you should be able to be working for quite a while then. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's a temp job. It's only for like six months or yeah, six months, I think until December. But anyways, yeah, uh, yeah. Like it's, it's been pretty crazy on the things like I uh, hear from over there, but anyways, uh, yes, yeah, stay safe. You're going to go out. Um, I think here, Texas, Texas wide statewide, it's now mandatory to wear a mask whenever you go out yep. into public areas. Um, if you're in your car, you're fine. But if you're in a building with other people, you have to wear a mask. Um, definitely want to continue working on some videos and stuff because i've been slacking apologies for the hum day show that's coming out super late um but i got some more stuff working and it's probably gonna be a little bit easier once jd and i start working a little bit together and i get my shit together with him <laughs> but, yeah, i got plenty of time work i got plenty of off time right now so i can do a lot of stuff for all right so. perfect and i guess um i i, I replayed resident evil 7 still a great game i love it um <laughs> but yeah thank you again for everybody who's watching and listening on podcast services like spotify apple Podcasts, uh any podcast platform really thank you to anchor uh thank you to everybody watching on the youtube side uh make sure if you liked in or enjoyed this at all please hit that like please, please subscribe and please share and of course you can find us on instagram twitter uh facebook and your mom please comment let us know what you thought about any of these topics uh see you guys next time Bye bye